everyone, so I'm in England, UK, where it's raining as usual. Uh, I'm in city Leeds, but actually that's not where I'm staying because I'm going to Wakefield, a place where a famous, I could see even legendary martial artist lives, who's also a self-defense expert, a security expert. He's a master on all levels, and that is Peter Constantine. So if you want to see my training with him, then join me on this martial arts journey. Well, I'm not a morning person at, at all. Unfortunately, it's 6.30 a.m. The training starts at 9, but we're gonna have a meeting with Peter before that. Also, I need to travel for an hour and a half, so that's fun. <laughs> So some of you may remember Peter Considine from uh, one of the videos I did a few months ago called The Hardest Punch I Ever Experienced. Uh, that video got a lot of views, uh, I believe it's over 200,000 views and uh, a lot of people praised the video, a lot of people praised Peter Considine for his knowledge and the ability to explain the mechanics behind the movements and the theory, uh, but also the video was fairly short and I know there's so much packed into that, uh, into the concept of the double hit punch, uh, so some people didn't understand the whole picture, some people had doubts. So I feel that this is going to be a great chance to take a look back and maybe answer some of the questions that people had. And yes, if you're asking me if that was the hardest punch I've experienced, yeah, I mean, I wasn't lying. Under those circumstances, for sure, that was one of the hardest punches ever. Thank you. So just to give you a heads up, this is going to be a regular training session that Peter Konstantin is organizing each Thursday. Also to a heads up, my ankle and my thumb are still bust. It's getting much better, but it's not perfect, but hopefully it's not gonna get in the way. Okay, it's nice hey, to see you. Good well, to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Thank you. Uh, Pleasure to be here. Yeah, Thank great. You so much. Yeah, fantastic. Good uh, to see you. Yeah, it's our Thursday morning, sort of call it training day, but our regular Thursday morning training session. People of all backgrounds? Yeah, people of all backgrounds. Some traditional karate, some traditional jujitsu, some full contact, some Thai. What's to be expected from the, the training? It changes emphasis. Sometimes it can be really technical. Everybody wants to walk away, you know, being carried out in the bucket. So everybody here wants to feel like they've had a session. Mm -hmm. So it might be an hour, it might be an hour and 10 minutes, mm -hmm. but it's, it's, it's a hard session. And even if it's technical, it's a hard session. So one time we might just go mad and it's just all, pardon the technical martial arts expression, it's tits out mm -hmm. and it's solid for an hour of just really graft. Mm -hmm. And other times it'll get a bit technical. So the uh, distress side of it comes off. You know, the video that we did last time on the punch. I mean that, you know, you see the comments and people are saying, no, we do that. No, you fucking don't. <laughs> no, you do not. You absolutely do not. You know, a punch is a punch, so you look at it. And the analogy I came up before I was talking to you is like, uh, you know, you decide to write a guitar book. Mm -hmm. So you write a guitar book and the general public get it and say, I don't like the sound of that. It's a fucking book. You know, you, if you want to see how it's played, listen to it. Mm. You know, if you don't think this has impact, turn up on a Thursday morning mm. and see what we do. There's layers and subtleties to what we do. It's complex, but it involves the huge, the whole body dynamic which you'll experience. Okay, so from the tip of the toe to the top of the head, we've got certain dynamics, certain concepts that we apply to things. too dynamic but what, what I want you to see is that as we skip back the skip changes into the punch so you're doing it's just this hear it 
see I want to skip back hear the impact so if somebody's going to shoot for your front leg you can't hit and leave it there so as you move out the way don't waste the movement translate the movement to the punch Relax it. Your guard's the problem, it's here. So you don't just drop the guard, because it, it relaxes the body. Punch through my shoulder. Coming at you. Move first, don't think of punching, think of moving. The punch, it's the movement and then the punch. Move, move back, skip back, skip. Skip, skip. That's it. Punch is a consequence of the movement. So we're, we're under pressure, we're being forced back. Shot. So just the skip to lead hand. So I'm just constantly just walking towards you. It's quite easy. So if I'm going for that front foot, you want this out of the way. And then you can either adjust back or you can adjust forward. Skip the front. And you see how your knee comes across the front. So you've wasted the whole of the turn, but carry on. Right. Skip that front foot to the other one. Skip the front foot. Skip, skip, yeah. Skip it back into it. So skip back to here. That's it, that's it. Nice one. So when you're doing the jab, you're actually pushing this hip, it's not this hip. You push this hip. So as you jab, this hip pushes, and then that's your double hip. So this one both moves your feet. So at the moment, my foot's like a landslide, like an um, earthquake, two fault, and then it slips. So I'm pressing forward, then it releases. And then this hip gives me this as well. So then that kicks here to there so it's this so I'm moving here then this opens for that you're jabbing I jab back that's it but just hit this and bounce bounce it to here don't you don't need to take it back because if you take it back if you take it back, I'll just hit you. So bump, yeah, but bump, circle. So bump and then to the roundhouse. Yeah, but you see you're leaning back. So if you learn how to punch with that hand, it's a bus ride away. Yes, sir, good. Nice work. Sixteen. Nice work. So this is one of those balls out distressing things. You know, trying to get the, the technique looks shit, it doesn't matter, it's the effort. Okay. Whereas some of the others are very much more qualitative, you know, aesthetic technique based as well. Nice. Good work. Knee up, on this kick, knee up. Punch, front kick if you want, front kick. Big front kick, that's it. Tight. I actually like the jab a lot. Yeah. When I spar, yeah. it's one of my go-tos. Yeah. But, but when I felt Steve yeah. punching and kicking and I then he did the exercise yeah. before me, and then I did it, it kind of dawned on you. Yeah. With big of a difference. Yeah, it was. sure. As you mentioned, I was doing it just from my yeah. shoulder. Yeah. And well, I mean, we started off with, um, so if you look at the session, just a bit warm up on the bag, that's yeah. not particularly anything going on. Just, 
just loose up. But then we do the pressure work. Mm. So the pressure work is just, again, it's a warm up. Mm. Um, so we're just getting that, making sure every time we move, we're not getting stuck and static. We've got that spring going on from the feet. And also, although we didn't touch on it too much, but we're using the hands to steer the bottom with the counter rotation. So if we want to move the bottom part, we've got kick shock off the floor with the foot that we're going to move, but we're also counter rotating with the hands. So the hands are doing the movement for the bottom. And that's one of the key things that I wanted you to see was how if we want the bottom to work, like I said to you at the beginning, we kick with our hands, we kick with our arms. We try and, we try and, ice, we try and ignore the legs in terms of, of the kicking. Mm which sounds strange, but the power for the kicks comes from the top of the body. So if you think about walking, and this is, you know, I never understand why this concept doesn't take hold with people. Uh, so if we walk, uh, this hand goes this way, but this leg goes back the other way. So our, our arms on the same side are going opposite to the leg. So if we think about, so I'm walking, now I want to sprint, my arms don't stay at the same pace. My arms speed up, so I couldn't sprint if if I didn't have my arms going faster. So all we're doing is now changing that to this. Mm -hmm. So if I'm on this chair and I want to spin around on it, I go this way, but the chair goes that way. Mm -hmm. So I go this way and I have my feet off. I could just pull myself around. I could do this and pull myself around. So the top is working the bottom. My feet aren't pushing off the floor. My top's working it. So if you think of translating that to how we use the kick, so this works the kick. The other problem with the kick is the leg's so heavy that 80% of all the work is in fighting gravity, not delivering the kick. So if you saw when we did that combination of the jab linked with the lead kick, we're hitting the floor at the same time we're hitting with the jab. So we're hitting with the lead hand, foot hits the floor at the front as we project into the jab, Newton's third law of motion now applies. We don't waste the impact with the floor. We increase the impact because the floor will push our foot back up. So that, that projects the knee up to almost facing towards the target we're gonna hit, but at the side. So that Newton's third law, equal and opposite reaction, we, we don't use the muscles to bring the leg up. The leg is shot up and then the hands at the top now rotate to give us the kick. And also then, as you saw, we're using the lead hand. We're not snapping it back and then doing a kick. The hand comes to here, and as we impact, we grab a handle in the air and pull this back for the counter rotation to give us the kick. Three things happen. Kick comes up on its own. We counter rotate to give us the finish to the kick. This hand comes across to still give us a guard. But the key thing is we're upright. So whatever happens, we're available here to deal with it. We can block, we can defend, and we're ready immediately after the, that kick to punch if we want with this hand. If that's what we're doing. Most people, you see them do a roundhouse, the first thing they back can do is lean back because they know that subconsciously their mind knows I've got this huge heavy leg to lift. Mm -hmm. So they lean back and then they kick and then the hand is a bus ride away. Mm -hmm. You might as well give them a bus ticket to get this to the target. And that's where you get this schoolboy um, combination. There's one technique, gear change. There's another technique, gear change. There's your third technique. Mm -hmm. What we're trying to do is overlap those combinations and at the end of at the end of this combination it isn't the end that end is the start of this one we're trying to figure out what we've got that we can steal from that last one that will feed into the next one and give us that overlap and also keep the power and flow going but then because I'm sure people say oh, it's not tactical fuck that we then we apply those principles to tactical considerations which sometimes we never get around to like when we just did the power punch. Yeah, no, that might not be tactical. Except that, it's just a demonstration of ABC. So those principles, you know, kick shot, using Newton's third law of motion, overlapping transitions, uh, keeping that flow with the double hip going. So as you saw, once we start a technique, that hip is always working before the next technique. Yeah. You know, And you felt the power, you felt the impact, but now in a more practical flowing situation. So now we're adding more techniques to it. So this wraps up the episode so far, uh, obviously the full talk is going to go live and I highly recommend listening to it, I will release it 
this Friday if you're watching this video on the first day when it's released. Also, I am starting to again publish my audio uh, podcast also on a podcast form so you can not, not only watch it on the YouTube but also listen as you go which is I think super cool uh, but aside from that I wanted to say that I was really impressed by the training uh, I was really impressed by the first time I met Peter and, and his double hit punch when he hit me but also when I got to experience his students my gosh, that was something beyond what I ever experienced so I highly recommend if you ever have a chance to go down there train it, try it yourself, if you have some doubts Go there, meet Peter, you know, get the experience that punch and you will see it is quite something. And there's so many layers, there's so much depth there. It doesn't end just at the punch. There's also the tactical aspect and, and the psychological aspect. There's so much that you cannot pack into a single episode. If you're curious about this uh, direction and if you feel if you're drawn and interested to know what it's about, there's so much to learn. So again, just go ahead and dive into it. And to end up, uh, thank you as always for joining me on this journey. As always, it's impressive you stay until this point at the end. And uh, there can be more journeys soon. And so as always, I wish you to question the hell out of yourself.